Yo, what is up guys? So we have 10 new vampire cards for the archetype and uh, let's go and check it out as we see some gameplay and then I'm going to be commentating over it, just kind of talking about some of the cards. Now, uh, this is the first time I'm seeing this card so we might just uh, see what happens right now. So we got vampire domination, so they have a spell speed 3 counter trap card that says when a spell or trap card is, or a monster effect is activated while you draw a vampire, negate the activation if you do. Destroy that card. Then, if the destroyed card was a monster, you gain life points equal to its original attack. Hey, that's not a bad card at all. I mean, not only is it a negate anything, as long as you control a vampire, but in a vampire deck, that should be pretty relevant. Um, being able to actually gain life points could actually be a pretty big deal, especially if you're negating, like, a boss monster effect and you're healing for, like, 3k. That's not bad at all. Um, <laughs> that's that's cool. That's cool. All right, uh, let's go ahead and check out uh, Vampire Fruit... Frolian? I don't know. I'm probably going to say the name wrong. You guys are going to slaughter me for it. But anyways, uh, it's a new level 5 vampire. It says, when a monster declares an attack, you can special summon this card from your hand in defense position. You can only use this effect of it once per turn. Uh, once per turn, uh, once per battle, when a when your zombie monster battles an opponent's monster during damage calculation, you can pay in life points in multiples of 100 up to 3,000. That monster you control gains that much attack and defense during that damage calculation. And then at the end of the battle phase, if this card destroyed a monster by battle, you could dispose someone as many of those monsters as possible from the graveyard to your field. Oh, dang. I mean, it is a level 5, so it might be not the easiest thing to get out, but I don't know. We gotta check out the rest of the archetype, because he obviously probably special summoned it, unless uh, he gets, like, an additional summon. But, uh, well, okay. So, that was pretty fast over there. Uh, like I said, I'm trying to check out the gameplay and also uh, commentate over, like, what's going on here. But that's pretty good. I mean, basically, unless they have, um, 3,600, and it's not a another zombie it's any uh it's any zombie monster that's really cool and it doesn't even have to be a vampire so not only do you get to get rid of anything that's under like 3600 but you also get to special someone dude that's dirty that is really dirty indeed but there's a lot more cards for the archetype what the heck chow chow chan in 2018 what the heck oh your emergency rescue okay maybe it's something viable i don't know okay sequel <laughs> okay oh first turn that piece ah okay okay i okay, got gotcha, you i got gotcha. you all right Let's see how the vampires deal with this. So this is a, a vampire sorcerer is an older card. I kind of want to just go over the newer cards. Oh, Vampire Wake. This is a new card. So it's a trap card. So special summon one vampire monster from your deck, but destroy it during the end phase. You can only activate one of them per turn. Okay. That's still a really good effect. Just get out whatever you want. Oh, oh that card is really good. That card is so dang spicy. Oh, what the? Pint size priest Hidoruma? I, I never even seen this card. Who running this card? Is it an OCG card only? All right, now that card does get uh, destroyed. Okay, we also have another card, um, which I guess special summons that card. But uh, Vampire Scarglet. Uh, so if this card is no more special, you can pay a thousand life points to target a vampire monster graver except for itself, and summon it. It can't attack this turn. You can only use effect of it uh, uh, once per turn. And then at the end of the battle phase, if this card destroyed a monster by battle, you can special summon as many of those monsters as possible from your graveyard to the field. Huh, that's really interesting. It says as many monsters as possible. Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, if your opponent happens to have a lot of them in the graveyard, it's kind of cool, but for the most part, I don't think that's going to be an effect that you're going to be able to really utilize. But, dude, that ping... Oh, dude, 5,000 attack? Oh, gosh, dude, that's... That's dirty. And then now he's got a decode talker uh, that he snatched stole. Dude, that's, that's cool. All right. Now, uh, this is a, a new continuous spell card. It says once... Per turn, you get to pay 500 life points during your main phase. This turn, you can normal summon one vampire monster in addition to your normal summon or set. Uh, you can only gain this effect once per turn. And then if you, your uh, vampire monster inflicts uh, bell damage to your opponent, you get to gain that much life points. I'm not sure how I feel about this card already. Um, I mean, I, you can splash someone one from the deck. Why are you waiting? <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, although the other card does get rid of it. Okay. Uh, I mean, there's still probably a few cards that we gotta check out, but I, like I said, I, I like showing you guys gameplay. Um, sometimes, though, as soon as I, like, uh, read the cards, they're not out yet, so we just go over them real fast. But this is another new card. Uh, this is Vampire Brood over here, and it says, um, this card is special summon, you can pay 500 life points to add one Vampire Spell Trap card from your deck to our hand. That's really good. You, heck, you could, you could add the one that you add the Solemn. You could add the card that special summons any Vampire, which this card lets you re-add back that card. Dirty. All right, but if anyways, if this card is in your graveyard, you can send one vampire card from your hand or face up from your field to the graveyard to special summon this card, but banish it when it leaves the field. You only use each effect at once per. That's pretty good. Um, that effect. Oh, that that works for defense too. Wow, dude, that's. 
Ooh, that's definitely pretty annoying to run into. But obviously, this is basically like you can't destroy me by battle. Um, I mean, unless they are, of course, at such a low amount of life points. Oh, it looks like we got a error over here. Um, or sometimes, sometimes people will exit out of the game. That can also technically cause an error, but it's not really an error. Uh, but this is another uh, card that we haven't gone over. Let me just go over these two effects and we'll continue with the gameplay here. Because I'm not sure for... Uh, uh, maybe this card might cause an error. Uh, it, sometimes, guys, it does happen early on. But uh, Vampire Familiar. And this card is supposed to mean to pay 500 life points to add one Vampire Monster from your deck to your hand, except for itself. If this card is in your graveyard, you just send one Vampire uh, card from your hand or face upon your field to the graveyard to spell summon it, but banish it when it leaves the field. Okay, um, you can only use each effect once per turn. You know what I was thinking? Like, since it gets banished, if you just run Imperial Iron Wall, you can infinitely, like, get them. Although you do have to go nag one anyways. You have to send a Vampire card. That's interesting. All right, this is the Vampire Red Baron, which I think might have actually caused the error here. But anyways, it's a level six, um, and it's once per turn you get to pay a thousand life points to target one monster your, your opponent controls and one other Vampire monster you control. Uh, switch control of both monsters, and then at the end of the battle phase, if this card destroys a monster or monsters by battle, you can suppose to summon as many of those monsters as possible from the graveyard to field. Wow, that's insane. Now, unfortunately, with all the effects of the searching, you can only activate one of their effects per turn anyway, so you kind of, like, stop yourselves from getting those, those huge advantage. Obviously, yeah, it's pretty good to special summon, you know, like, you, you get to, uh, you get to, uh, switch control over them, therefore, when it dies, you get to get uh, as many as possible. That's cool, I like that. But at the end of the day, does that just make you want to go for links, right? Because you, you might, you can still get the effect of the other one to search out or whatever. It's still cool, though. I think that it definitely has its uh, uses in the game. So we have uh, a few more uh, replays. And like I said, we'll go like in-depth and uh, look at a deck profile that we have. It might not be like the best build. It's just to look at kind of all of the cards in general. Because I definitely do that when like there's a bunch of new cards. I try them all out. And, uh, you know, sometimes when I give you guys a deck profile, it's usually when I'm just trying to showcase off all the new stuff. Because, like you said, uh, sometimes things aren't that odd. Like, the, the additional normal summon, I mean, it's it's interesting with a card like Red Bear. Now I can see some uses with it. Sometimes you gotta wait and see what other combos you have. But the uh, Vampire Domination is really good. It's a uh, counter trap card. When anything is activated, as long as you control a vampire, you get to destroy it. And then you gain some life points if it's a, a monster effect. Now... You can only activate one of them per turn, but that is still really strong. Um, I mean, at the end of the day, this card is really good. I think maybe he just didn't know what the heck that card did. That's not even a once per turn. That is so good. What is he doing? Yo, man, what are you doing? <laughs> Dude, this is an annoying card to deal with. Um, it is a level 5, though. Um, I mean, you can special on it pretty easy. We have a monster reborn. Vampire Dark Familiar. I'm just going to be able to add whatever. Okay, so I, like I said, I feel like... Oh, dude, that's so good, though, just being able to... Oh, snap! You can do so much damage from giving them, like, a really bad card. Okay, well, I mean, there is some paying life points, uh, but with Vampire Territory, you're able to kind of uh, get some extra little advantage for that. I just still don't know how I feel about this card, honestly. It's 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 difficult to make continuous things uh, very viable when it's, like, gaining life points. Uh, obviously, it does kind of help with the deck, but he oh, there's another card. There's a change level. All right, so Vampire Desire. Target one. Uh, activate one of these effects. So you can target a vampire monster uh, from your deck. Oh, you send one vampire monster from your deck to the graveyard whose level is different than that monster. And if you do, that monster becomes level of that monster sent to, to the graveyard until the end of this turn. Uh, so it's encouraging exceeds perhaps. And then uh, as another effect uh, from Vampire Desire, you can target one vampire monster in your graveyard. You send one monster. You control the graveyard. If you do, special summon the target. You can only activate one. I wish this card was a quick play. I feel like that would make this card so much better. I'm not sure how I feel about Vampire Desire. Again, it might be just because they're trying to encourage the deck to try to go for Link Summon. Um, I mean, the other effect of getting another monster is definitely much more viable. Um, but you have to send another monster you control to the graveyard. That's kind of minus, but there is a lot of those small monsters that you search out another card that make this a lot more viable. Like, the other one that lets you just search out the uh, Spell and Trap. Like, you can go uh, Brood straight up into the um, Vampire Desire, send that to the grave, and then add another one. But then that would kind of... I mean, it's giving you more, like, cards in the grave, right, technically. Oh my gosh, the life points! The life points! So low, but it didn't matter. He just, like, he's like, dude, that's game over, man. Uh, that was pretty cool. Alright, so let's check it out. We got one more uh, play to check it out. Maybe we'll see some of the other cards. There's 10 new cards. I'm not sure if we've actually seen all of them uh, yet. 
But dude, this card, Vampire Wake, is absolutely insane. Uh, I think it's really good, and it's searchable. Now, again, the downside is that you can only activate one per turn. Uh, and also, uh, the one where it negates anything is pretty good. But I, I just don't think it's on Layer of Darkness's level. Um, being able to tribute, like, there's there's no, like, quick effects. Uh, I mean, you guys can let me know what you thought of them so far. And like I said, we're going to check out all of the new cards uh, in just a second. I just want to see, like, what the heck they did, because this is my first time checking out what the heck this archetype uh, does. Again, it, to me... It's a very mediocre deck. It's it's very reliant on like going to the battle phase, declaring your attack. None of this stuff really protects the monsters, other than the the uh, the counter trap card, which is a slow card in itself. Uh, but it's searchable. But the problem with that is like, okay, I guess we gotta get him to get the, the pot of desires over here, and then he's just gonna GG out over here. So um, again, this is the uh, videos uh, deck. So um, okay, so some of the cards I did not see. Elden Pier, we we have actually already seen it, and. Uh, the card actually um, is okay. Uh, I believe we did not see uh, Grimison, right? Okay, so let me let me grab all the new cards right here, so because there's there's ten new cards, and I want to make sure we have every single one of them uh, to kind of go over and talk a little bit about them. And uh, all right, so there's nine. Uh, maybe he didn't play. Oh wait, no wait. Uh, oh awake. No no, we got the awake. What is the card that we're missing? Let's click sort. Uh, two 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 got that. Alright, well, I'll, I'll, I'll find out which one we're, we're apparently not playing. Actually, if I just type in Vampire, we'll probably be able to figure out. Because uh, maybe it just wasn't like a viable card, uh, or just was too conditional. Sometimes cards are like that, where like, there's just, you look at it and like, okay, I can't actually play it. Is there only 9? I thought there was 10. Alright, hold on. We'll get into that in a second. So, the uh, only card that I don't think we saw during the gameplay was uh, Vampire Grimson. So, uh, it is a level 5, and it says, if a monster you control would be destroyed by, or by an opponent's card effect, you can pay 1,000 life points uh, for each of those monsters instead. At the end of the battle phase, if this card destroyed a, uh, a monster by battle, you can special summon as many of those monsters as possible from your graveyard to your field. I feel like they should have had like a, um, like a, like a spell or, or, or trap that like special summon one to your opponent's field. Uh, I don't know. I just, I feel like the only card that does that is Baron. That's a level six anyways. I don't know. It just, there's a lot of problems I think with this archetype. At least that's why I see it being, being like viable in terms of speed. Now, like I said, there are a few other cards uh, that I wanted to go over that uh, we didn't get to uh, actually see uh, perhaps. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, am I bad at math or is there not actually 10 over here? Okay, hold on. There, I, I okay, so it's, all right, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so it's six monsters. Oh, wait, did I just not grab one of the monsters? Oh, I just didn't grab this one. We actually did see her, which which was a furlan. This is the card that I think is, like, the most viable. If it had that effect where it, it, you could pay a thousand, let's say, like, Grimson. I don't know. I feel like these should have been, like, together as one card. But maybe they are just like, no, dude, that's too OP. I mean, we didn't even really get to see Alden Pure Summon. Um, which is actually a really good card, but it doesn't really support the whole like special summon another card. I don't know. Um, as far as like the the like deck profile, if you if you want to say, I, like I said, I I, I want to say this is probably built uh, to just showcase off the new card, not necessarily like a, a competitive build of the deck. I don't even think this deck is going to be competitive at the moment. It seems meh. Like I don't know what you guys think about it. Um, very underwhelming uh, is I think the words, uh, at least in my personal opinion. But let me know, guys, if you guys are gonna actually be playing this deck. It's cool that we're getting vampires. We have vampires and you know pirates coming out in the game. But I just think that there's a lot better choices as far as decks go um, that are I don't know. I mean, they're, they're, like they do have really good stuff. But again, when when your opponent has the other card where you get attribute stuff, it's just so much better it's just uh, I'm separate levels of like a uh, balance and that, that's also going to be a starter deck structure deck so uh, i don't know man it might just be rip you gotta have to nail the vampire back into that coffin because it just doesn't look like it's gonna have a chance at least not with this new support but that's my thoughts if you disagree with me i would love to know why uh but personally for me my reasons why i think the deck is a lot too so yes you're able to search out cards but like you don't happen to have like a lot of great threats and because you can only activate one of them per turn first off they're gonna know exactly what you searched out and, and if you don't search out uh, the uh, negate anything which is the domination more than likely they're gonna know okay he's got domination all i gotta do is make it so he doesn't have a vampire like a kaiju and like what what are you gonna throw out turn one in this deck right i mean yeah you could normal summon additional time but i mean to special summon the um the frolin 
I mean, unless you got your graveyard and other things set up, uh, you, which I feel like you're going to go very minus with. I know you could go for this card to go for this card and go for more extended plays, uh, but you're going to have to just use, you know, what are you going to do? Foolish, foolish that the uh, 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 Frawlian? Frawlian? Someone tell me how to pronounce this because I know I'm going to say it wrong and I need to know for the future vampire videos. But I feel like that's a problem in the deck. This card's great, but like, again, what do you do? Foolish it, then you're going to brood go for this it's just too minus it's way too minus especially just for like a card i would consider kind of mediocre at the end of the day uh but again these are my thoughts let me know yours down below uh, i feel like this is just the um the uh, why man what? can they just release all the, can they make castlevania an archetype and just make it like tier one <laughs> That, and I want the format, you know what would be cool guys, we got the spirals, and then we got, well, I mean, people saying the spirals are supposed to be Metal Gear, I think they should just call it a Metal Gear archetype, they have a Dance Dance Revolution archetype, and then they have Castlevania, and the, like all those decks are all for like one format, Those are the, the, that's like a Konami format, we got all of the, all of the uh, competitive decks, just uh, like, you know, the classic Konami games, <laughs> it'd be funny to see a DDR deck though, alright, anyways, I'm ranting off on things uh, that, uh, for other videos, but anyways, thanks for watching guys, let me know your thoughts on uh, on vampires down below uh, like i said you guys have heard mine i think the deck is just not going to be tier one but anyways thanks for watching guys and uh hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did drop a like on it and if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button to see more new Yu-Gi-Oh decks in action